I'll be here playing more of this. At the very least, despite there being no salami in that slice of pizza that I just had, at the very least there was meat and cheese, so that's, I think, I'm satisfied for now. Also, cold pizza versus hot pizza, I don't know. I think it's one of those things where particular kinds of pizza would probably lean well into it. Others wouldn't. I liked it, but I don't think I would prefer it. It is definitely an option for me now. I wonder if there's anyone that just orders a pizza, puts it in the fridge, and then just has it later. Like that dedicated to the cold pizza cause. <laughs> I wonder if this is accurate, like a payphones in Japan green. Flora green. Can anyone fact check this? Better head to the Kazama family office, alright, let's go. I fully expect those titles to get ridiculous. I like that there's no stamina. But there is kinda actually, it's just not like a bar. <laughs> I wish I could steal the bicycle. It's one with a flower basket, just to fully emphasize the fact that I'm a gangster. Zama family office. Nishiki should be inside. Oh, oh ramen! <laughs> Wait, they put watermelon in ramen? What is that noise? Oh, it's slurping. Yo, Kiryu. Hayakatara. すいませんかしらです。大手間かけさせるような真似しちまって。そう。あ、あの。もう無駄だ。はい。よく無事だったな。お前が本家から呼び出されたってとこまでは錦山から聞いてる。<笑> そっから先何があったか大方予想がつく。クゼのおじきあたりが風間を裏切れとでも言ってきたんじゃねえか。ええ、そうです。どういうことなんです。空の一粒で桐生が死なせたって死体は銃で殺されていた。もちろんこいつ
落ち着け錦山それよりクゼの話に出た殻の一つだお前らが知ってるのはほんの触りだけだなええ柏木さんは詳しくご存知なんですかああまず今カムロ町のある一帯に大規模な再開発計画があってな道島組の例の若頭補佐3人が食い争うように地上げをしてるそれなら聞いてます権利者バラバラの土地に根こそぎ買い漁ってるってそいつをまとめ上げてでかく転売する腹でしょうそうだだがその中にどうやっても手に入れられねえたった一つもばかりのさらちがあんだよそれがかなり大きな話だな。The real estate market being absolutely fucked in the 80s. That, like, it was a heavy thing of crime. Yeah, that's it. 所有者が行方不明らしいもし今出てくりゃ10億って値になってんだがな10億たった一坪の土地がなあ、yes, sense, 殻の一坪がかけりゃ再開発自体がひっくり返るだが道島組は周りに100億以上突っ込んでんだ,だ,でんだ一坪10億だろうが今さら引きやしねえクズはその土地を手に入れるのに必要なある情報を風間のおやさんが握っていると言っていました風間のおやさんの持ってる情報って何ですいや分からねえ俺も初耳だでもやっぱり姿消している土地の所有者に関係することでしょうね何にしてもクズはその情報をおやさんから探らせるためにキリュウをはめたってわけかああそのために人一人殺してまたなおめえら今の状況はわかるかキリュウは当然として追い詰められてんのは風間の親父も同じだキリュウが仇殺したってことで冒険人の親父もけじめを迫られるその上クゼが殻の一つを手にして若頭になってみろ。やつは親父を必ず組から追い出す。組から追い出す。まさか、道島組の波紋もあり得ると。ああ。親父も無所にいる以上、今は何も手が打てねえ。あの親さんが波紋破門された極道の末路は言わなくてもわかるな。一度上までのし上がった後で底辺の屈辱に耐えられる人間は少ねえ。自殺したホームレスに元極道って肩書きがついてるのは珍しい話じゃない。<笑> I was about to say, like... でも、キリは実際、殺しはやってないんです。Probably in the dude's obituary. こいつの疑いさえあるじゃん。親さんも破門にはならねえはずでしょう。疑いを晴らすには真犯人を抑える必要があるそうだだがクゼが真犯人を握ってる以上手は出せん相手は道島組の幹部だこの世界で上に噛みつくことは何があっても許されねえでもこのままじゃキリュウは無所にぶち込まれるんですよ俺らがクゼに手を出せば風間の親父は余計立場が悪くなるその時点で波紋は確実になるなだったらどうすりゃいいんですか俺たちは柏木さんとりあえず俺の濡れ衣も殻の一つも後回しだ今とにかく俺はおやっさんを守るために動きます何かいい手があるのか俺の不始末は俺一人でけじめつけます。おやっさんに責任がいかないようにするにはもう
この手しか残ってねえ一人でけじめつけるって何する気だキリュウ俺は今日限り道島組を抜ける探すき返して国道から足を洗うキリュウお前今回の一件とにかく俺一人の責任として蹴りをつけるんだその後クゼを捕まえて真犯人の居場所を吐かせ何言ってんだ杯もらって3年そこらのヤクザが5体満足で足洗えるわけねえだろ最悪殺されんぞ認めたかねえけど今の道島組仕切ってんのはクゼだそれを袖にしたお前が組み抜けるっつってあいつが生かしとくと思うか杯返す先はクゼじゃねえ道島組長だそれにまだ殺されると決まったわけじゃねえ車を捨てる意識。これから組の事務所に行く。ふざけんなって。お前、やけになってるだけじゃねえか。うるせえ。他に手はねえんだ。このまま指越えて。見てるわけにはいかねえ。やめろ、キリュウ。錦山の言ってることは正しい。正しいかどうかなんてどうでもいい。所詮俺は。風間のおやさんについていくために極道になっただけの半端もんです。俺の不始末でおやさんに迷惑かけるくらいなら、俺にも覚悟があります。おめえ、なめたこと言ってんじゃねえぞ。俺の言うことが聞けねえのかあ,あ、キリュウへえ。たとえ風間のおやさんが止めたとしても。俺は行きますこんなバカ野郎 Man, I just love the, the non-serious animations when people get hit カシマキさんニシキ、車頼む長い間お世話になりました。Very ballsy move. <laughs> You're back, alright. Welcome back, Zoe.、Um, story wise, he's going to quit the Yakuza to bait them, basically, to try and get the real killer to come forward. Because he thinks that they're gonna put a hit on him. And then he's gonna try and take down the guy that's blackmailing him. Because he doesn't want him leading the family that he's、uh, working for. Very ballsy. Kyodai. Oh my god, Kumi will make it to the Kuze no Yaroga, so you lose to a Kagirane. 何が起きてもおかしくない覚悟を決めておくんだお大丈夫だ行こう分かった I mean, what else am I gonna do? 乗れよ It's a bit old for an orphan. 
別の話だ今さら善人分だよあんたもヤクザなんだろうだったら俺らがヤクザになるのを止める資格なんてねえじゃねえかキリュウ俺たちはずっとあんたの背中を見て育ったんだいい車乗って肩で風切って周りの人間に頭下げられてそういう人間になりてえって俺たちがそう思っちゃいけねえのかよ上がりの人間は夢を見ることも許されねってる。How old do you think they are there? They did they did not look like teenagers. お前何考えてた？何もぼーっとしてたってわけだ。At least twenty, yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's no way they're in their teens there. おやさんに殴られていた時のことを思い出してた。Especially that that's that took place in an orphanage, like what do you mean? 確かに。ちょっと待って。きりお前も同じこと思い出してるもんだと思ってたよ。やっぱりおめえにはかなわねえな、兄弟。見慣れたはずの事務所が今日はやけに不気味に見えるな。お疲れ様です。親父は。道島組長は。事務所にいるか。ええ、いらしてます。ここで降りんのは俺一人だ。え。組長に伝えてくれ。キリュウカズマが坂月を返しに来たってな。ぎ、キリュウさん、え、本気ですか。ああ。すまなかったな、錦。お前はもう行ってくれ。本当にやるんだな。キリュウ。組長に話をつける。死ぬと決まったわけじゃねえせいぜい器用にやってみるさお前にそんな真似ができるのかよバカ野郎がまたな兄弟<笑> The one guy that's not in the suit I'm sorry <笑> Uh, such a tense scene, and then the one dude in just a regular sports jacket. That would probably be me, let's face it. He's too good to be flashy. Yeah, I guess. I mean, at least they're not wearing ties. ハモンのお願いに上がりましたお取り次ぎ願いますクゼの兄貴ああ,あ,あ残念だったな土曜の8時はダメだ親父のお気に入りのテレビの時間なんでな話だったら I guess this guy is the uh ディックバーグ of the story エンコも詰めてねえじゃねえか手ぶらで組み抜けの挨拶とはな
てめえ極道なめてんのかあああんたと話に来たわけじゃねえ you have, off, you have to cut off your own pinky to leave? Is this a literal pinky promise? Get the fuck out, no way I think it's actually a thing. <laughs> One of the most feared criminal organizations in the world, and they're doing a pinky promise. Sorry. The pizza just wasn't sitting well. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was a lame joke. Should have heated it up. Yeah, I know, right? What on earth could have put the idea in my head to eat it cold? ことは。そうかい。じゃあもういいわ。てめえは使い物にならねえってことだな。お前には俺のそばについて乗し上がるチャンスがあった。そいつを蹴らなきゃ死なずに済んだろうよ。あよねだ。はい。景色と考えろ。地味ですけど山の中で生き埋めが一番かと。薬品でドロドロにして流すってのもありですが。ああ。死体は残せよ。後々こいつの死体が見つかった方がいいんだ。道島組は身内の引き付けには厳しい
いつでもいいぜ来い Time for ridiculous fight Yeah, that's the blue aura No. <laughs> oh, this looks so funny. Oh, <laughs> that was so satisfying. Oh shit, no, bad spot, bad spot. Bad spot. Get back to power stance. I just can't get over the money explosions and just the ridiculous nature of the fights. They're, it's like cash pinatas. The explosion. You just decided what you want for your birthday. What by watching me beat the fuck out of Japanese gangsters and money explosions? Are you saying you want to punch someone in the face and have their face explode into money? A cash pinata, alright. I mean, cash pinatas are pretty traditional, like, they do put money in pinatas normally, along with candy. It's not, it's not a, uh, it's not a joke, it's a real thing. Wait, pick up what? Box of nails? What am I doing with a box of nails? Oh! I wasn't ready. Ah, oh, I wasn't ready! Are you kidding me? Damn it. Now I have to do all this again. Cash Pinata Simulator. I love how we're just going through the table. Like, we're just phasing into the table. Because heaven forbid, you know, these gangsters do anything to damage the priceless table. That would be rude. So instead, they're gonna bend the fabric of the universe itself and phase into the table. Or I'm just gonna yeet at it. Okay, never mind. I just, I just kicked the fuck out of that table. If I get a chance, I gotta smash those giant vases. You got it. I love how there's no block button, it's just take punches, throw punches. <laughs> it's 
just ridiculous. Get the boss! Yeah. Cypher! Cypher attack! I'm enjoying this way too much. Get the surf, get the surf. What? Ah. Ow. I'm not doing well. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, one more. No! <laughs> Come on. Temporarily switch. Get the f get the fuck get the fuck away from me. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, under control here. So far! I, I hate it when it does it, that's like the little brother mentality. Mario Maker was very horrible at that, Luigi would just constantly pop up, asking if I wanted to just lower the difficulty. I will get the hang of this. Now! I love how I can't take I can destroy everything, but heaven forbid I destroy the ornate swords. That's blasphemy. <laughs> okay, get the couch! Yeah! Oh man, this is so good. Come here! You want you want a piece of couch as well? Got the bat. I got a bat. I'm ready. That's right, bitch. Oh, it's okay. I'm hitting with a box of nails. Yeah, that's right. Stomp! Oh. Oh, how is he not dead? Oh shit, it's not over. It's not over. <laughs> oh, that, that guy's resorting to couch warfare as well. He's just standing there. Oh, he's not, he's not a dummy. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Does anyone survive like a kick of that brutality and still be able to hold an entire armchair in their arms? There we go. Oh! That was that was super satisfying. Stop fucking with me. Oh! Oh, come on, really? <laughs> Ow! game is just, like, appeasing to me in so many different ways. Oh, I hope I don't get sent back to the start of the fight. really hope that's not the case. Fuck! Why went that- Ah! Oh, you gotta be kidding! Uh, why did you have to be right? <laughs> this is another case where I'm just so glad I didn't attempt a difficulty higher than normal. There was some health in the kitchen. Where? What under? In what form? What does health look like in this game? On the floor near the door opposite where I came in, or it might have just been an item. I'll pay attention when I go into the kitchen next time. The couch! <laughs> oh, I just love the ridiculous nature of these fights, they're so good. It's like everything that you want wrestling to be, except it's actually real. Oh, wrong button! It's different every time! Okay, I, I can't just press the button in advance. Of course I can't. You mean, do you mean that thing on the ground?
Oh, oh, all right. See, that makes sense. Okay. Then yes, good call. I'm saving my... I made it for this guy! Ow! Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is this not working? Okay. The couch is mine. Not this time! You look at the sheer amount of blood that that guy just spurted out of his mouth. Like, how does he get up a third time? Get over here. He's not down. <laughs> Stay down! Absolutely mental. At least they got money exploding out of people when you hit them. It's true. Guess this is what it was like before. Contactless payment and credit cards were just standard. People just exploded into money when you collided with them. that Zelda's just gonna win, right? Like, I haven't seen anyone else contribute to The Last of Us now that I put Zelda up there. Despite it costing twice as much. Hmm. I don't see any other way. Guess I'll have to jump it. <laughs> Are we about to- yes! Let me throw the urinal at them! Please let me throw the- please. Which Zelda is it? All of them. Except the GameCube one. It has come to my attention that I have a way of playing every single Zelda game. So the idea was to play every Zelda game in the lead up to Breath of the Wild 2. There's 17 of them. And the game is like a year and a bit away from release, so... Makes sense. I could get through all of them if I did like one a month. Oh, it's definitely doable. And some of them I, I can do in one stream, like... The original ones are definitely... One stream. But some of the later ones are a lot longer. And... I know there's quite a few people that actually haven't played all the Zelda games, or any. So you can live vicariously through me. Surely he's down. Oh my god. What the fuck does this guy eat?
Into the urinal. Into the urinal! <laughs> yes! Come on! There's absolutely no way he comes back again. Okay, before we do... Just in case. For some of them, I might play like special edited versions of it. Like for Zelda 2, there is a version, a fan edit of that game that makes it less obtuse. Even though I know how to finish it. And I do enjoy it. But yeah, I have physical copies of every single Zelda game, except that rare GameCube one that no one wants anyway. おめえと会ってたか。プロモーターになりたいぐらいだ。くぜ。口が聞けなくなる前に吐け。空の一粒の真犯人は誰なんだ。どこに隠してる。ガキが。調子に乗りやがって。I'm hoping it's saved. It's kind of impressive that he got the tattoo artist to put in the JPEG artifacts. Aha! Aha! Okay. One sec. Dude, this is this is the great thing. Do this. Boost the health, please. Boost the health again, please. No, 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 not that. What's this? Master. Interesting. Okay, that's as far we can go for now. Is there anything I can use as a weapon here? Oh yeah, I should. Hold on. Consume. Thank you. That's how you block. Nope. Go. Why does he have so much more health than me? This 
kind of such a dick. Back. No. talking about before, Older is stronger for some reason. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Every single old person in the, in the Yakuza just has the life spirit of every young person he's murdered. It only makes him stronger. I will absorb his life force! I don't have any more healing items left. No! Oh, fuck you! Oh, this is fucked. trying to run around and make him take a swing. <sighs> My thumb's hurting. Alright, alright, alright. That was a warm-up. I got this. That's right, come here. So far, so good. <laughs> yes. There we go. This is going better. Like my run around stretch. <laughs> Just makes it look ridiculous. It's hard to tell when it's gonna go to that. Something satisfying about just grabbing his head and just kicking the living fuck out of him. Why am I doing so much better this time? What changed? Oh, 
Damn it. Damn it! At least somehow I still have my heal items from before. Oh, I'm being a little haphazard about this. Oh, thank fuck. Okay, good. Assume. So close. Yeah. Kiryu, Teme wa. This. He looks like Frank Costanza. I if he was redheaded, yeah, a little the hair. Yeah, it's the mouth in particular, right? I tripped out that the actor that plays Frank Costanza is actually Ben Stiller's father. とりたてで相手ぶっ殺しちまったそうだな。バカな真似しやがって。そのことで組長にお願いに上がりました。俺は誓って殺しはやってません。ですか疑いが。Yeah, at least he'd expelled it from your memory. I probably would have retained that along with some other random obscure fact about, like, maybe him owning a fax machine in the 90s or some shit like that, and the exact make and model. Yeah, he fucked up. You threatened to kill him. His plan worked. So Ballsy plan. Oh. 
さあ兄弟久世剣能界の人間なら作法は知っていますよね兄貴の好きなけじめです男見せてくださいI thought that was going in a much worse direction, to be honest. That was a right. That's what, that's what you get. Sending a dude with a sofa to try and kill me. Kiryu Kazuma, Kyokagiri, Dojima Gumi o Hamontosur, Dojima Kumicho. Arikato Kosemus Kiryu Kokoma de Kuroste, Kumi o Nukatakata, do you and none?俺と風間の俺は組み抜けて責任取らせてもらいます。ですから絶対に俺が<笑> けじめ安心しろ。ケジメなら どうしまくみちょ。極道は一度見引いたらしまいだ。お前は<笑> Oh, 
すればいいんだ Pretty serious. <laughs> I honestly thought they were telling the guy to, like, uh, you know, do the honorable thing and kill himself. I thought that's where that was going. Then it was just a pinky thing. ますか。このままだと風邪を引いてしまいますよ。私は橘と申します。橘。あなたが今置かれている状況は全て承知しています。私はあなたと会うこの時をずっと前から待っていたんです。I earned a million <laughs> completing the chapter, apparently. This kind of removes my immersion a little, but it's fine. Oh my god. Get it, you're saving. Thank you! Climax battles item opened. Real estate broker in the shadows. Alright. How old is this game? Copyright year. Unless I'm blind, I can't see it on the box art.食事まだ済んでませんよね。よかったらいかがです。うん。悪いが空気にはなれねえ。あんたが誰かを聞くまではな。私に危険はありませんよ、キリュウさん。くつろいでください。Oh俺の服は。だいぶ汚れていましたので、クリーニングさせています。すぐにお返ししますよ。立花さん。だったな。ええ。ご安心ください。私は仇の人間です。カムロ町で不動産屋を営んでいます。不動産屋それが俺に何の用
Tojong? Tojong Kajo. To Tampion. Ixmon Hanaga at Mate. Okina Hitots no Hanani not the Mono, so he must. That a real thing? Jitsu Anatomo Yoko Gozonjino. Aru Hanamo Sono Tojong Kajo. In nineteen eighty six, that might have almost been a down payment on the house. That most definitely would have been a down payment on the house. <laughs> the first house my parents bought, I think, was like 80 grand or something like that. That wasn't in the 80s, I was like in the late 90s. あなたは。もう一人。沢村由美さんというお嬢さんもです。Meanwhile, like one of the houses that I, the units that I grew up in, the places where like you know immigrant families would just be able to afford, those were selling for like a million dollars five years ago because of the land, and that the, the fact that they had been cleared to uh, be able to create apartment blocks there.今、カムロ町の不動産屋が欲しがるものといえば、一つしかありません。ですが私があの土地を手に入れれば、風間さんを守ることができます。それにあなたのぬいぎぬも晴らさなければ、カムロ町における我が社の情報網はちょっとしたものです。私と手を組めば、私と手を組めば、私と手を組めば、私と手を
おやさんももう大丈夫ってことだおやさんのことはまだ,だ俺の濡れ衣が晴れねえ限り道島組はおやさんに責任かぶせる気だよなんでだよお前がもう組を抜けたってのにかああただそれでも一歩前進だ道島のダイモンが外れた以上こっから好きにやらせてもらう Is that dude doing in the background? Kuze o t s u k a m a t e Shinhan Nin no Idokoro Hakasia. So Wakata Soja Torres, Kashuagi San Nimot Taineto. You go there. Yeah. What a Tojo Kaikara Hamon Sertan in Genda. Mo Kazamagumi no Jimishon in a hired Kashuagi San. Oh, my car is sad. That's probably not fine. Suchite. <laughs> I should head home for tonight. From here, it'd be the fastest north through the hotel district. See, you can't actually walk into this. It's fine. 2,000 yen. Doesn't sound like a lot. Also, why? No, you know what? It's fine. Hey, you. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Is there a problem? Yeah. I seem to think you can just walk by me without a word. Do I know you? This isn't your turf. Why should I have to tell you anything? I'm not here to chat. If you don't want to get hurt, you'll leave all the cash you've got and get lost. Huh. So this is a shakedown. You should pick your targets better. I don't have a single yen for chumps like you. Then I guess we'll do this the hard way. Hope you're insured. Best not to ask, best not to ask what? Like why it's so cheap? Oh, why is he so big? This dude's like at... At least... Like 190 to 2 meters tall. I'm not converting it to feet. You can do the conversion yourself. Ow! I started to ask myself and then stopped. Oh, whatever I started to ask myself and stopped. That's fine. Yeah, you're not half bad. I'll let you off the hook this time. That's if I'm having trouble with somebody like you, I need to change my training regimen. Time to bump up the intensity. It's going to be expensive. I want to save up that kind of money, I gotta start shaking down. Damn it. Get back here! Hey you, you okay man? Yeah. You just had the misfortune of missing Aroya Egashira. Mr. Shakedown they call him. Mr. Shakedown? Yeah. He'll go after anybody that crosses his path, and then he takes everything they've got. You seem like you can hold your own in a fight, but that guy's on a whole different level. If he sets his sights on you, run for it. Definitely more than your average tough guy could handle. Still, I wish somebody would come along and beat all that solid money out of him though. What, did he get you too? Damn right he did. Took my whole holiday bonus. I knew I should have made a beeline to the bank with it. You be careful too, next time you're sitting on a stack of cash. Oh, and rumor has it, Egashira is not the only Mr. Shakedown, and that... They aren't just a Kamurocho thing. Stay sharp if you ever get out of town. Shakedown, huh? Insanely tough. I probably haven't seen the last of him. Keep my eyes peeled. So, effectively, this is a mechanic that punishes you for not spending money on yourself, which I guess...
Anyway, what I was going to ask about the strip club was like those entry flaps. Whatever the fuck you call them. Why why was the bottom half of them like cut off? I've seen them before in kitchens and whatnot, but what's the purpose of having the bottom part of it visible? So that that's what I was going to ask. I swear. <laughs> the pump at all. Uh, yikes. Hey, you alright? Yeah. Because I would bump into some swaggering pump. Oi oi! You're an an old man! This isn't going to end well. Are you alright, uh no? What's the big deal, yo? I'm sorry, uh watch your step shit for brains. You're not hurt or anything, are you asshole? Alright, if that's how you wanna play this hey. out. What? Eep. I'm sorry, no, I mean, I'm in the rough seat, so please get lost, you punk ass, so and so. You don't know the answer to that one? Well, the only thing I can think of is like, maybe that's a club for kinky people that want to crawl in the door. What just happened? Oh, it's a sub story. I mean, that's the only explanation, like, why would you want. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. He wants to rob me, so let's just... Joke's on him. If I spend my money, he can't rob me. ignoring me now investing in my health oh he's got he's got nine million on my money it's fine he, he's not he's not gonna touch me I'm also going the wrong way Not gonna lie, I'm kind of like looking for another strip club just so I can show it again. But I don't think it's going to be the same thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what? I'm fighting the MIB? like, I don't know, 10 years too early. Huh? Oh. Oh, so was a roadblock. Oh, look at that. There's a hot dog stand over there. So one thing we don't have here is, is like places to get decent hot dogs. Those fancy ones that Americans have. Feels like I haven't been home in forever. Way too much has happened in the last few days. There's one in the city, I mean, at least it used to be. I don't know if it's still there, because Corona, but... I'd always walk past it on the way home and... to get the tram. 
and I just would never see it open. Like, it wouldn't be open in the morning, and then on the way home in the evening, it wouldn't be open either. I was always intrigued by it. I know, it's to all Americans, like, what's the big deal? It's just a fucking hot dog. Weird. I'm pretty sure I was like a middle of the day type thing, but it was like, um... Just off Burke Street Mall. <laughs> but I have yet to find, like, any place that does decent hot dogs that I can just go to. なんか言ってたか。いや、何も。そうか。でもお前が生きて戻ってきたの見てから、またすげえ勢いでレーメン食ってたよ。それまでは6つり黙って何にも喋らなかったんだけどな。あの人らしい。だろ。<笑> oh, damn, but そうか。Pretty photorealistic. What is it with Japanese instant noodles and how are they so much better than everyone else? Like, what do they do to them to make them that good? Kazamanoya-san your prediction is this guy killed him? Like betrayal? It's a possibility. I mean, that'd be pretty fucking sinister and sadistic if he did. He'll probably do a speech about how, like, you know, the old era is over and that he was going to be on board the new era. Maybe. From what I heard, like, real estate in this era was very, very predatory. Just look at how fancy, look at how fancy those instant noodles look like. As opposed to when, touche, but more like there was more crime involved, I guess. It was more associated with crime. But I mean, relatively speaking, like as bad as it would have been there, it's, it doesn't even hold to how things are now. のみやや風俗やら店が and they just make snarky comments when it comes to like inspections and shit. あ、気になった不動産を転売するって話だ。例え登場会の結末と価値を上が、岡間いなしに。今時の不動産周りは金の足掴み競争だ。得体の知れない連中が群がってる。
けどそいつらがおめえの味方につくとなると面白くなるな信用できる相手ならの話だなんで俺を引き込もうとするのか立花の腹が読めねえなら明日少し突っ込んで立花不動産を調べてみようぜ探ってみる価値はあるいや調べるのは俺一人でやるあお前が俺と一緒に動けば堂島組に目をつけられるお前は関わるな桐生組抜けると決めた時から一人でやるのは All your inspections have been photos taken through the r a p so far moved in just before COVID like a week before the first lockdown I've had two inspections since lockdown they haven't done one in a while so I'm kind of expecting one to happen soon But yeah, they were. It was like a, like a live stream, pretty much, and then they would just take screenshots of it. I was reading that collectively, we've been in lockdown for more than 200 days. Ever since this started. Do we have a large amount? Oh, there we go. Cool. Uh, zoom out. Where's the quest marker? Let's say where to go. We've done really well, all things considered. Yeah. I mean, we're. Last year we did really well, it's just this year because of fuckwits, basically, that it's just ugh. But it could be worse, we could be Sydney right now. And that's got nothing to do with the lockdown, that's just in general. Sorry, Sydney. <laughs> Oh, that guy got mugged. We can choose to do good citizen shit. What? No, I don't know anything. Sorry. Bye. That's interesting. There's no marker here. Did I miss the point? Oh, that's the guy. Oh, fuck. I hope the other guy doesn't catch up. I'm just hoping that the prediction of our population being vaccinated in December holds out and then next year things look a bit better. I'm not holding my breath, but... I mean, that's the way things are at the moment. What is... I noticed this in the corner of my eye. What is this? Can't tell. It looked like food on a stick. Okay. Ujima family office. The 
because these are old. I think. Things will also improve as the weather gets warmer, that's true. Where am I supposed to be going? Did I completely miss the fucking point here? I don't see like a main quest marker list. Maybe take the taxi? Where does it want me to go? Am I an idiot? Did I miss the point? Joy Boy. Ah, oh, I can't go into Joy Boy. Hey. Okay, what do you think? Strip club or not strip club? There's a number 18 on the door. Let's play strip club or not strip club. Strip club? Okay. Strip club or not strip club? Okay, given what's next door, Probably a strip club. <laughs> Excuse me, is that a fucking clown? What? What? It's me, Bob. It's a Noyima, zero. Guess what I have for you? What? What? What the fuck? What? Why am I getting items for free? From a clown? got a motherfucking lightsaber. It only works once. No, don't do that. The fuck? Excuse me. <laughs> what do you mean? What is that sound? God damn. Ugh. 
you're about to pass out, you're going to sleep. Oh, okay, yeah. Just quit on me at the noises that that woman makes, that's fine. <laughs> Later, Zoe. Have a good night. What the fuck was that? I think they just got mad that I just kept running into her. That was really something else. What's the password? Hmm? Sute. Ge. Giro. Being too quietly to catch what he said. Good. What do you want? The usual. Okay, so they're, they're sub-quests. Yes. Fever. Sorry. Sorry. What is this? Okay, we got to say some of this stuff. Welcome to Kanrai. Let me show you to a seat. Oh, we can eat. Kimchi combo, bibimbap, spicy beef soup. Oh. Kalbi rib. I'm gonna have a Kalbi rib. Oh, that doesn't show it. Damn, I thought we were going to get food porn. so far. Ah, uh, it's fun. I like the ridiculous nature of the fights. That being said, I don't see like a main quest marker or something. So I'm currently figuring out what to do right now. Meal if that count. How do you know, like, where you need to go next in this game? That's a strip club. I guess I'm just checking out the orange buildings. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, you need to ask around. Okay, you just ask around. I guess I need to talk to people. Alright, fair enough. This is the building I knew Amarocho branch is opening in, right sir? I'm impressed we were able to land such a prime spot. No kidding. We're still trying to find the right property. It took forever, then we reached out to Tachiban Real Estate and it all came together in no time. All 
the tenants were established businesses and popular still, but within a month the place was vacant. I kind of feel bad for everybody that was forced out. Why? They got a they got paid a relocation fee, and Tachibana Real Estate found them all new locations. They should be thanking us. <laughs> Besides redevelopment, raises property values for the whole area. Plus, they'll have us as customers. Haha. <laughs> hey, whatever happened to that property behind the theater square? That seemed like a promising spot too. Yeah, but another business beat us to it. One of the shops, Tachibana Real Estate cleared out, apparently. Their lucky Tachibana's office was able to find them a new location in Kamarocho. Find out more. Oh shit, I'm being chased again. Okay. They give up. Oh no, it's that guy. No. No, 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 no. no. Uh, ah! That's funny. Oh wait, you can visit this. I'll do it later. What I get the feeling there's gonna be a game within a game. Hmm? What's going on? This is a rough looking crowd. <laughs> Oi! I'm so freaking stoked, man. A rare street show by the Yokomichi Silvers. Be right, those guys are rock and roll gods. Look at this bitchin' crowd. They drew all these punks without any ads or nothing. Crazy Kyo and the Yokomichi Silvers fucking rule. And keep your pants on. I heard the Yokomichi Silvers are gonna hold a Q&A panel too. No fucking way. They're famous for never saying a word and letting their music do the talking. I wonder what the hell they talk about. Sounds like some band's doing an event here. It must be popular by the local punks. Okay. Is that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at these people. Holy cow. What are we going to do? Hey, you. Yikes. See, where's pal? I nearly peed my, uh, what are you doing chuffing around behind me, you ugly knob? Uh, yeah, sorry. I thought I should apologize for bumping into you earlier. Oi. Who? Oh. You're that man. No, I should be apologizing for my own careless- I mean, whatever, piss off. Um, sure. Cool. Wait a second. Could you possibly be unaware of who I am? Hmm? Are you asking if we met before we bumped into each other? If we did, I don't recognize you. Oh, wait a second then. So, you really don't know who I am? Willikers, what a relief. Hmm? I'm sorry. I was rude not to introduce myself. Name's Kyo, but my stage name is Crazy Kyo. I'm the vocalist in a band. Let me guess, the Yoko Michi Silvers. Same band those young punks are excited to see? Aren't you guys some kind of legendary Yankee band? Yes, that's us. We're doing a street show here later. Oh. Sorry to bug you before you show. Good luck. Whoa! Where the hell do you think you're going, old man? Uh, wait, please, uh, don't go. Hmm? Mm. Maybe... you can save me? Save you? Nani? What? Are you even hardcore in the slightest? Nope. That's a joke, we tried dressing all punk at a show. To our shock, we got pretty popular with the Yankee in crowd. But now we have to keep up the charade full time. Over time, we gained the fan base of wannabe punks and the Yokomichi Silvers became heroes to the rebellious youth of Japan. That whole style is called Yankee now. Huh. There's more to running a band than I thought. So, what did you mean by me saving you? I. I uh, actually. I want you to teach me how to be a hardcore hooligan. Teach you to be a Yankee? Yes. You see, today's event, we also have to do a live panel, a meet and greet for the fans. But every member of Yokomichi Silvers, myself included, are law-abiding choir boys. We've never even shoplifted. 
we were to talk in front of the real Yankee, they'd realize we were phonies. Fake punts, eh? Now that you mention it, the way you talk doesn't match the way you dress at all. Right, so if we spoke to our fans, we'd lose all our credibility and popularity in an instant. Or worse, what if they want revenge on us for fooling them? Okay, but do you have to do this panel thing? Why don't you just skip it? I don't want to do it either. But our agency says we need to hone our speaking skills if we want to stay popular. They're making us do it. We've been avoiding every situation we, where we might have to talk instead of just performing, but now... Got it. So you want me to teach you how to behave like a Yankee so you can live like one? Talk like one? But why me? Why? Well, that would be because you're my ideal of what a Julian should be. That confident demeanor. Your razor-sharp glare. The barbed wire attitude says, touch me and get cut. And yet, you also exude a sense of kindness. A guy who extends a helping hand to the weak. The hooligan with a heart of gold. That's my ideal Yankee. Well, yeah, I, I am Yakuza, kind of. You can teach us so we won't blow our cover. More than that, I think you can give us Yankee wisdom that'll propel the Yokomichi Silvers to new heights of hooliganism. Please. If you lose this chance, the Okamichi Silvers may have to break up. Please teach me how to carry myself like a true Yankee. Alright. Okay then. I'm not sure how useful I can be, but I'll try. Really? Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't catch your name. It's... Kiryu. Okie dokie, Kiryu-san. Just give me a second, please. I'll go get the others. Sorry to keep you waiting, Kiryu-san. This is our drummer, Sleazy Tarashi. Hey. hey there, I'm Tarashi. My stage name is Sleazy, but I have no experience with the ladies. Never even seen a boob. And this is our bassist, Bad Boy Aku. Amaku. Hobbies, caring for elders. <laughs> oh no. And this is Kiryu-san, who's going to impart the ways of True Yankee-style hooliganism to us. Please teach us, Kiryu-san. Hmm. You guys are so polite and proper. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything I can do for you. Oh no. Please don't say that. We're all pretty good guys at heart, so please help us. In your case, being pretty good guys is the problem. But I did agree to this, so somehow we have to turn you guys into hard-edged punks. <laughs> oh, yes, please! Hmm. I can I show you guys how to be tougher, though? Mm. Mm, well, maybe you could come up with an opening remark for little old me. Your opening remark? Yes. I want to kick off our panel with authority. Being hooligans, we shouldn't come across as weak or hesitant. Please, Kiryu-san. I need a zinger of an opening line to set the tone. Hello, but in English. So, that, that's gotta confuse someone. How about opening with hello, but in English? English? Do you really think so? I mean, a hooligan speaking English? Is that ya in Yankee yeah. style? I think it would be just right for a Yankee. Young rebels fall hard for what's cool. And English is the language of rock and roll. Think about it. Their hero, the vocalist of the Yokomichi Silver, speaks a language they don't know. They can't help but be impressed by his worldliness. But do I have to keep speaking English afterwards? That's going to be a challenge. I only know a few greetings. Uh, Same goes for them, though. You sound like you know what you're saying. You can get away with it. I see. I'm not quite convinced, but I'll give it my best. Rock and roll! Oh, oh, give you son. Question. Mm hmm? What is it? Well, the agency told me to tell fans about how I spend my days off when I'm not rehearsing or performing. Your day is off, huh? Makes sense that fans would want to know how their heroes live from day to day. Tarashi. How would you spend the day off? Well, I make a habit of getting up bright and early so I can make some pancakes. After breakfast, I take my darling puppy, Chibi-chan, to the park for our mid-morning stroll. And then we have a lunch at a chic cafe to rest our feet. Oh, on our way home, we do a little window shopping. After that, I binge on the dramas I've got my VCR until it's bedtime. Uh -huh. You describe a typical girl's day. 
Uh, sorry. That really made you sound like a fashionable young woman. I was so surprised I got intense. I'm... Uh, I'm so scared. Oh no, Kiryo-san. You shouldn't shout like that. You made sleazy Terashi cry. That's a bit much, don't you think? Oh dear. You should say sorry. Uh, uh yeah, my bad, Terashi. It's... It's alright. I was just startled. I wasn't expecting it at all. So... About how I should spend the day off. Uh, yeah, right, uh... One thing's clear. You, can, you can't tell the fans how you really spend your free time. No, I guess not. But then, what should I say? What would I be doing instead? Uh, sleazy. Hanging with the mates. On your days off, say you spend it having fun with your friends. Having fun with my friends? That's kind of ordinary, isn't it? I mean, I already do that pretty regularly. Think about it. Punks are people too. On their days off, even they would want to spend it with their friends. Ever notice them squatting together in parking uh... lots? That's true. I see them loading around, like you say, but... Are they really friends? Hmm? Oh. I used the wrong word. They're not friends, it should be mates. Mates. Actually, when you put it that way, the Yankee Factor goes all the way up. There, see? On your days off, you hang out with your mates. Actually, you and your mates just shoot the shit with each other. Say that, and you'll be fine. <laughs> I kinda get it. I'm not sure what that actually means, but hanging out with mates totally sounds like what hooligans would do. Give you son. Mm -hmm. hmm? Oh, uh, you're bad boy Aku, right? What's the matter? What'll I say? Hmm? Aku, you didn't get a topic like Tarashi? Nope. The agency told him to wing it. He's free to talk about whatever, even though he's practically mute. Bad Boy Aku even has a backstory. Locked up in juvenile reformatories from birth, Bad Boy Aku crushed packs of punks before he even finished preschool. Hmm, your agency's trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. Aku's a man of few words with a crazy backstory. What should he talk about to make him sound hardcore? Um... Yeah, do that. Talk about the time he crushed the gang. Kitty son, that's not only Bad Boy Arco's fictional story. He's never actually fought anyone his entire life. Never even argued. I know that, but it's the perfect topic for giving you a hardcore vibe. I also think Arco's delivery will make his story sound even more genuine. That's true. If you were a smooth talker, the whole story might sound rehearsed and inauthentic. Can I do it? Don't worry. I'll think up the basic story. First, Aku has a friend, a cute girl who's known ever since they were kids. That childhood friend is key in any Yankee story. Childhood friend? Cute? Uh. Right. So, when you were three years old, Aku... Jeez. How does that grab you? Whoa! That's smoking! Kiryu-san, you're a genius for real. Aku, you're good with that, right? Solid. <laughs> I'll give you guys advice on what to say, too. Yes, please. This is ridiculous. Yokomichi Silvers, we're almost ready for you. Uh? Oh, is it time? Uh, I mean, fine. Ah, yikes, sorry. I mean, you can come on when you're ready. I'll be watching from the audience. Yes, please, watch us. We're going to hit this hardcore Yankee thing out of the park. <laughs> we're going to kick ass and stuff. Mm-hmm. Here they are, put your hands together for the Yokomichi Silvers! Okay, let's just... Wow, they are popular when they're not talking, they do look like real gangsters. Sopping wet high wait, sopping wet high rock and roll after school, Tarashi Aku, hit it boys. What the fuck? That concludes today's performance by the Yokomichi Silvers. Just listening to their songs, I can see why Yankee kids across Japan look up to Crazy Cure's band. Now, we would like to move on to a special meeting greet panel discussion with the band members. Oh, no way, no way! Crazy Cure is actually going to talk to us? That's totally mental! 
I can't fucking wait to hear bad boy Aku's voice. Here's where it gets real. They better pull this off. Yo, Grey Sounds. Hello, everyone. Rock and roll. We are Yokomichi Silvers. Holy shit. Krasioko can even speak English? That's so bitchin'. I'm totally gonna go mental. My god, that totally authentic pronunciation. It drives me wild. I'm shitting Brexia. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Yeah! Yes, the audience loves it. Using English was a good choice. Awesome. Crazy Kyo-san. Next, we'd like to hear from Sleazy Tarashi and the bad boy Aku as well. First stop, Sleazy Tarashi. Here's a question we got from a fan. How do you usually spend your days off? Uh, if I get a day off, I mostly hang out with my mates. We shoot the shit. A guy like Tarashi-san must have a ton of mates. Tarashi-san, what do you do with your mates? Huh? Um... We, uh... We make pancakes and stuff. Rah! Huh? Oh. Well, we don't just stay holed up at home. We go out and uh, eat at fancy cafes and stuff, yeah. Who is this guy? Fans are rattled. Damn, I screwed up. I should have covered more details with Tarashi. Thank you, Sleazy Tarashi. Time to close it out for Bad Boy Aku-san to say a few more words. I smash gangs. Wicked! Bad Boy Aku is letting us in on this brutal pass. Right here in freaking public. Holy shit. He's gonna get arrested, isn't he? What a beast. I'm crying, man. My birthday, three years old. I rescued Nonchan, my childhood friend. Wrecked eight gangs to save her. On top of a tower. Shirtless. Yeah! Bad boy Aku. Cool in ways I can't explain or understand. Good. Fans bought it. There's nothing better than a good war story to gain strict cred. It's only one of them fucked up. Whatever. The other guy fucked up. Kiryu san, were you watching? Yeah, I saw everything. Good work. Kiryu san, we tried to apply what we learned from you about the ways of the Yankee to our panel. The fan response was pretty damn good. I'm kind of shocked. Yeah, it seemed that way. It was worth all the effort. I think we can keep the Yokomichi Silvers going without sagging in popularity. Woo! Thank you very much. Got a charismatic autobiography. That was the most fun I've ever had speaking in public. Kiryu-san, thanks. From now on, we're going to keep working hard to expand what you taught us about the way of the Yankee. We'll work on our speaking skills too. Keep an eye on us, Kiryu-san. Yokomichi Silvers are going places. Just you watch. Uh. Yeah. Give it your best shot. We will! So weird. People sure have all kinds of challenges to face. At least those guys are diligent. They should survive the rough road of the entertainment world somehow. Don't give up, Yokomichi Silvers. That was very random. This menu is very confusing. Ooh. Hey, sorry, I didn't mean to bump into you. Ah. Saving. Oh, come on. Is it? <laughs> this is the one thing that I don't like about this is like the saving. This seems like something they'll come back to later, most likely. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here for tonight. It's 1.30 in the morning. I've been playing this for a while now, but it's fun. Oh, the Tachibana real estate supposed to force anyone out and it's off by Theater Alley. I'll check it out. Alright, cool. I'll remember that. But yeah, I'm gonna stop here. It's a, been a nine hour stream, so I need to pull it. <laughs>